All right. Now let's go ahead try to understand what is a random forest classifier. A common problem with the decision tree is that they tend to fit the training data too closely. And there is very high chance of that it might get overfit very soon. So this was motivated the widespread use of an ensemble learning method called random forest. In random forest algorithms many decision trees are trained on a single data set. But each of these trees only receives a bootstrapped sample of the observation. A, a bootstrapped sample observation means that a random sample of observation is selected with a replacement that matches the original number of the observations. So each node here, each node only considers a subset of features when determining the best split. All right. So this forest of randomized decision tree votes to determine the predicted classes. That means, let's say for a particular data, you have created here large number of decision trees, which is ultimately known as a forest of decision tree. And then it is known as a random forest. Let's say these are the trees in which it is broken. Then based on these final classification outputs for each of these trees, it will try to vote that on a various basis. It might take on average value for your final predicted target variables. It can also select the maximum number of values which it has got or it can also select based on the medium. So it's a kind of the voting, whatever the type of the algorithm you select for the voting and it votes according to that algorithm. Perfect. Random forest algorithm is used to determine the feature importance as well. It will not only used in the classification, but it is also used in the regression. A random forest model is comprised of tens of hundreds, even thousands of the decision trees. Training is a faster than the SVM, but model size is larger than the SVM. Random forest is used in both classification and regression. And there is rarest in, you know, the rare chance that your random forest algorithm might get overfit. All right. Perfect. Here we have a sample example for a random forest algorithm. If you don't understand this code, don't worry about that. We will be taking a separate lesson on a random forest algorithm step by step coding. We will be using scikit, uh, scikit learn Python package for our random forest algorithm coding. And it is really very simple. In very few lines of code, we will be, uh, we will be able to generate and code our random forest classifier. Alright, so this is all about in this lesson. Thanks a lot for watching it. I'll see you next lesson.